Hello everyone and welcome back to LSPDFR here, patrolling in downtown Vinewood in one of the Sheriff Explorers that's in JJ Dawkins' pack that I've been using for practically the past week, and yes, that's who creates it, and it's on LSPDFR. All the vehicles the past week have been from JJ, Daw JJ Dawkins, and uh, I have really fell in love with them, and I'm sure that you guys would too. I've just kind of, as, as you can see, I've done like different color textures and stuff like that. Um, but I've just used pretty much what he gave me. But other than that, let's go ahead and get it started and see what we can get into. Now, right now, we're behind a vehicle that looks pretty heavily damaged. Something that I would not justify to be on the road, I guess. Uh, it's smoking heavily. He's missing, uh, substantial, uh, tread on his- I mean, pretty much all the tread on his- on his vehicle. One thing about this, uh, is interesting. It doesn't have much backlighting, but the front lighting is fucking insane. I'll tell you that, so. For safety of this guy, I'm gonna go ahead and get him a little close to the right-hand side of the road. Oh, man. Trying to do it, but his his car's all fucked up. Stop. There you go. We'll go ahead and just have this trap. Oh, man. We're gonna have to have this uh, big-ass truck wait for us, because it ain't gonna be safe if he tries to go around. You could chill out. All right, dispatch. Go in and make contact with the driver. It's gonna be uh, power and Alta. How's it going? Stop today, because your vehicle looks like it's falling apart as you're driving it. If I can go ahead and get your identification, please. I'll probably have to call you a tow truck, man. You can't drive this. The tight Jose, Jose Jalapeno. Jalapeno. So, let's go ahead and get this guy ran in the system. I'm just going to go ahead and lock our ELS. want to be able to keep an eye on this guy. Which one is it? It's not that one. God, it's like I haven't played this game in three years. Alright, Jose Jalapeno. Uh, valid license, no wanted status, so we're good on that. Let's go ahead and do a quick vehicle search. Uh oh, expired registration, and in the condition that this guy's driving, that's pretty much something I could have guessed, actually. Um, okay, so a few things, this guy is not going to be leaving with this vehicle, we're going to go ahead and get it towed for his safety, and for uh, everyone's safety around him, because this thing's fucking beat to shit. Alright, sir, you're going to be receiving a ticket today for uh, no registration. The no registration. No registration. And, uh, season the vehicle. So, do me a favor and hop out of the car. You can go ahead and take this ticket and walk away. You have someone pick you up around the corner. It doesn't matter, but the vehicle stays with me, and it's going to get towed. Simple as that. We don't want to have any further issues and have a blowout on all the other tires or whatever hell is going on with your vehicle. So, like I said, just hop out after you uh, sign this ticket. Thank you, sir. Yep, go ahead and burn. The truck is burning its tires. Really? All right, a white arrival. They're gonna shoot that to me. I'm gonna go ahead and sit in my vehicle for safety. That was quick. All right, dispatch. They got the vehicle out of here. Suspect has walked off. I'll be uh, code four ten eight available for calls. Right now we're getting in route to uh, suspicious persons in. Right now we're getting in route to uh, suspicious person in Pacific Bluffs. That's a tongue twister. Um, we're not sure exactly what's going on, but we do have security on scene right now. And it looks like it's gonna be at the gas station, so we're gonna be responding code 2. Uh, to that location. <laughs> looks like I kinda took a really bad area here. But we'll go ahead and get out of this. This is the uh, the area that I would like to p patrol this, uh, beat. I usually don't come up here that much, and I, I really like Vinewood because it's that really tight-knit, close neighborhood. Which you really don't have much of, uh, in GTA. You kind of got, like, uh, Mirror Park and Grove Street, but it's such limited with the actual residential housing, uh, un unlike Vinewood Hills. Let's go ahead and get through some of these intersections here, just so we can get down there. I don't want the security guy to, uh, get hassled with, so try to get there as fast as we can. We got some busy intersections. Alright, dispatch, we're on Milton. Still responding code 2. Um, light traffic. I think we're pretty good with uh, our response time right now. We haven't been kicked up, so I don't want to go too fast. I usually don't go this slow. Usually I'll just bomb around code 3, but... Seems like everyone's kind of acting real chill today. We're at a nice uh, night darker time, so... I don't want to go busting around too much. That... You better watch yourself, dude. Alright, Del Perro Boulevard westbound. So we're getting, uh, pretty close to the location. Go ahead and bust out this way right here. That guy did not stop. 
All right, let's get there a little faster. We gotta. <laughs> going ham on our switchboard with the sirens. All right, we're getting close here. We just got a few more turns, and we're gonna be uh, getting there pretty quick. Come on, dude, don't don't do that. All right, dispatch. We are on uh, what looks to be Bay City Incline right now, or Bay City Ave. No, this is Bay City Incline. Uh, we're on location. You can go ahead and route me on scene. So it looks like we got numpad, numpad five for conversation. So we'll go ahead and uh, be able to see exactly what's going on here. Come on, these motherfucking AI. They don't know what life is. All right, we got security over here. It looks like we got some bikers. I I called these. I told these motherfuckers to get away last time, but it looks like they're not, they're not cooperating. How's it going, man? What's the situation? These bikers over here look very dangerous. Would you be so kind to check them out? Yes, I've already done this for you. Um, good decision to call the police. Stay back, sir. Simple as that, motherfucker. All right, let's go ahead and make contact with these guys. Um, I have told them previously, uh, patrolling, uh, the beats here to not come back. I actually ran every single one of them. Come on, guys. I told you guys to get the fuck out of here. I don't know what you're doing. All right, let's go to make contact with someone. Can you stop dancing provocatively? How's it going? Who wants to know that? Well, who do you think? The police. Look at me when I'm talking to you. What do you think you are messing with, Moppet? There it is. Uh, numpad. I don't give a fuck. What are you guys gonna do? Um, I just pressed numpad one. I don't give a fuck. I'm with the police. I'm the law. <laughs> there it is. What are you guys gonna do? You guys gonna fuck with me? Stop fidgeting around over there, motherfucker. I'm not liking it. This is what I knew it! We have an officer oh my god! Stop! God damn it, I was so close. Someone killed me. I think they shot me or something. Units just rolled up on scene, though. They're gonna get those motherfuckers. Ah, I didn't know it was gonna pop off like that. <laughs> that scared the shit out of me, dude. Holy fuck. How was it? Oh my god, I should have called him back up. I should have just called him back up for how many people that there there was on scene. Like, my god. Should have known. Should have known. Let me just get my unit set up really quick and then uh, I'll go ahead. I'll get a vehicle and we'll head back down there and we'll see if shit's still going on. I highly doubt it. Um. We'll see, that's not even the right car. It's this one right here. Alright, I gotta get the vehicle. Uh, okay, yeah, they already routed new calls. Oh, <laughs> they just killed everyone. <laughs> I love that, that's great. Alright, well, it's code four there. I was about to bust ass back over there and help my boys out. Looks like they uh, killed everyone there, so we're good. So, dispatch, you can show me code 4108 and available for calls. I just pulled up, and this car seems to be doing burnouts and hitting the. Uh, house right here. I'm not really sure what's going on, but we're gonna go ahead and make contact with the vehicle, see if everything's okay. Actually, they're about to leave right now. I don't know what the fuck these people are doing. Ugh. Dispatch, show me South Mo Milton Drive. I got one uh, reckless driver right now. I'm we'll gonna try to make contact with them. Did we get this driver to pull over? All right, we do have a stop. I'm gonna get them off this road because it's just dangerous as shit. Keep going, buddy, keep going. Actually, stop right there. I'm gonna go ahead and position myself behind you, which would be totally better than trying to drive that person uh, from the side like that. Yeah, I'm not sure what this is all about, but we'll go ahead and uh, see exactly what's going on. Uh, dispatch, show me East South Milton Drive. Uh, pulled into a residential driveway right now. Alright, let's go out and make contact. They might be under the influence. I'm not exactly sure. I don't even know why I opened up that door. Alright, how you doing today? I stopped you because you were running into the- God, you look like the devil itself. Uh, I stopped you today because you were running into the house back there, so I'm not sure what's going on. Can I get your identification and all that, please? 
Let me go ahead and see if she's been drinking. Have you been drinking? I don't need to answer that. Well, that's that's all right. And that is true, but uh it looks like you've been drinking. Sit tight. All right, we're going to go ahead and get around in the system and see exactly what's going on. See if she has a license or what the hell might be making her exhibit driving style like that. Well, also, I'm going to administer a uh, field sobriety test. Uh, drugs and alcohol, just to make sure that there's nothing in her system. If everything's okay, I'm going to go ahead and give her a ticket for, um, let's just make sure here. I kind of talked through it. Okay. Everything's good on there and valid, valid. So, um... If she comes back clear from the alcohol test and the drug test, I'm going to go ahead and uh, just let her go with a ticket for obstructing obstruction and no destruction of someone's property um, and not reporting a crime. All right, I'm going to just go ahead and uh, administer some uh, tests on you. And uh, the first one is going to be a breathalyzer um, to see and show me if you've maybe had alcohol, which you have no alcohol, so that's great. And the next one is going to be a drug elizer to make sure you don't have any cannabis or cocaine or anything like that in your system. And you're positive for cannabis and negative for cocaine. Negative for cocaine. So do me a favor and uh, order out of the vehicle, please. In the state of uh, San Andreas, uh, you are not allowed to drive and smoke <laughs> cannabis um, of any sort. So you're going to be placed under arrest for DUI. So go ahead and walk back here for me really quick. I'm gonna go ahead and get a transport unit. So, uh, like I exhibited, or like I thought, she was under the influence of, uh, alcohol. That's not where I want her. There we go. I'm gonna let her go right there. We got a, uh, vehicle I gotta hit. A uh, link to ISIS. There it is. What the fuck? We're just gonna play that off as something else, because that's ridiculous. Alright, prisoner transport's coming for now. I'm gonna get a, uh, Tow truck for your vehicle, ma'am. Because this ain't gonna happen. You ain't gonna drive around intoxicated, and I'm not gonna catch you doing something stupid, that's for sure. Alright, I'm just gonna go ahead and shut my door because I'm not transporting the female. Okay, it looks like that vehicle is gonna be leaving here shortly, so I need to get out of here. Prisoner transport's on scene, so I'm gonna go ahead and take off. Come on, dude. You're, you're being an idiot. Yep, it looks like they're already on scene in their book, so I'll just go ahead and leave them. Uh, right now, I'm going to go ahead and um, step up code 3 to catch up with this vehicle that's actually pretty far away at this point. Um, it's a wanted suspect uh, we've caught on city cameras, so we'll just go ahead and get over that way. Whoa. Alright, dispatch Mad Wayne Thunder Drive, westbound. Coming up on that vehicle. Wow, that could have been deadly. Yeah, this is why I love working in these neighborhoods, because it's such tight little turns, and, and it's actually just, like, really awesome residential housing with the driveways and all that stuff like that. All right, this person's still on this road. They are mobbing through Vinewood right now. Okay, now the whole point, when you get farther up, it gets a lot more windy, and this person is going through... Some really ridiculous places to, I feel like, try to avoid. Come on, get over. These are the worst turns ever. They are just like a hairpin turn. Come on. Go! Oh my god, everyone just sits there like a bunch of fucking idiots. All right, we're gonna be coming around uh, the corner where the suspect is right now. At least it's like semi-night, so people can see our lights from around the corner flashing off the walls. I'm gonna go ahead and deactivate because it's gonna be our suspect right here. <laughs> that suspect finally got picked up. Only took him that long. Jesus. All right, this is gonna be our suspect. Go ahead and get him blipped. Come on, what are you doing? What are you doing? I'm gonna go out and attempt to get him to a location that's a little better than this, because this ain't gonna work. I have no idea where I'm thinking I'm gonna take him, but... I better figure it out quick. Looks like we got a better path if we were to turn that way, so I'm gonna go ahead and get him off my path. 
Hopefully, I don't know if any of you guys do this, but I love getting them to better locations if we have the ability to- Oh no. You better put your fucking hands up, lady. I don't even know why you got out of the car. Get on the fucking ground. The wanted suspect, I was just trying to get him to a better location. It looks like she decided to hop out of the car a little prematurely before we were actually able to make contact with her. That was a pretty dumb move, lady. Pretty dumb move. All right, let's go ahead and get prisoner transport started. I'm gonna go ahead and grab her. We're gonna set her down on the side. Sit down right here. Thank you. Oh my god. I turned that off. They shouldn't have had any sirens. <laughs> Jesus. Asshole. All right, dispatch, we got 11015. I'm gonna go ahead and get... Oh, the vehicle looks like it, it disappeared. So we'll go ahead and be code 4108 uh, available for calls. Attention Unit 3, King 24, Citizens Report, a DUI in West Vinewood. All right, now we're going to go ahead and check a uh, status of a driver that's going through Vinewood right now. I'm going to go ahead and flip around here. Uh, we're attempting to locate a possible DUI suspect that's driving. We have uh, many reports of uh, people on a certain road here in Vinewood that they are getting their mailboxes hit over by a person driving and they thought it was a teenager but it seems to be someone that might be intoxicated so we're actually getting on the road here to uh intercept that impaired driver that just passed by go ahead and see if we can catch up to them they just went straight through the intersection here so come on dude on the bike you're not making all of you can go fuck yourselves. Get out of the way. Stop driving. Lights and sirens. Don't move. Holy shit. Alright, we should be good. There should be no one behind the, uh, suspect at this time, so... We should be able to, uh, identify and verify the license plate and all that. Alright, I got eyes on the suspect. It's gonna be a blue convertible two-door. Occupied by a male suspect. Hardly able to maintain the lanes, so... Go ahead and at least get them blip. Okay, they just made contact. I'm gonna go ahead and light them up now because of that. Not safe to let them continue. Oh, dude, what are you doing? Come on. Wow, you're a fucking jackass in the silver car. Come on. Come on, buddy. Keep going. Keep going. Go ahead and see if we can find a place. Oh my god. We're gonna be in the same area where I pulled that other person over. That's great. Literally where I arrested the other person. Or actually where it came to a stop on the, uh, vehicle pursuit, I think it was. Alright, let's go to the passenger side. Alright, sir, stop me today because I believe you might have been having too much to drink. So, can I go ahead and get your identification, please? All right, Jack, and, uh, you have such a headache. Okay, um, well, at this time, just go ahead and sit tight for me, all right? So we're going to run his license, and then, uh, if he comes back positive for alcohol, we'll just go ahead and place this guy in custody for, uh, a DUI, which it, that's probably what it is. You don't drive like that if you have a headache. All right, he's clear on the, uh, person search. And he's valid on the car, so he is good on that aspect. Let's just go ahead and get uh, and administer that drug and uh, alcohol test. Alright, sir, one quick thing we're going to do. We're just going to administer a breathalyzer. Make sure that you aren't under the influence of alcohol. And 0 0.128, so you definitely are over the legal limit. So, uh, last test is going to be a drug -alyzer. Make sure you don't have any cannabis or cocaine mixed in with that. And negative on both accounts. So, um, yeah, he'll be ticketed uh, at prior. So at this point, I'm just going to have him step out of the vehicle and we'll place this guy in custody. All right, sir, go ahead and um, place your hands behind your back for me. What's it doing? Is it going to do it? Come on. Whoa. I shouldn't have to pull out my gun and do this. Kind of lame. Get on the ground. Yeah, I should have been able to displace him in custody without having to do that, because that's a little traumatic for no reason, so... 
All right, dispatch. I got one ten fifteen for uh, DUI. Code four on North okay, Sheldon dispatch. Avenue. Dispatch. We are code four. I'm going to no get this guy in custody. Required. I'm going to take him back over to. Come on. Take him over to the sidewalk here for safety. Sit down. All right, I'm going to need a tow truck to uh, North Sheldon Ave. I'm so thankful that it stopped doing the thing where it climbs up on the car every time you do it real close. <laughs> That's good. Holy shit, that was so obnoxious. I need a prisoner transport unit as well to uh, North Small Sheldon. Placed under arrest in Vinewood Hills. Copy, that's a code two on our way. Roger. All right, we'll stand by and wait for prisoner transport uh, to get here. And tow trucks should be on the way as well, so they, they probably arrive somewhat at the same time. One of them looks to be really far back there. That Tahoe is really nice, though. There's a major traffic jam. That was, that was really good to walk around fucking all the cars there, lady. And then now you choose to actually walk behind the cars. I'm gonna get the hell out of here. Alright, guys. Well, that's gonna do it for this episode. So, we'll just go ahead and pull over right here and we'll end her. Alright, guys. I really want to thank you guys for tuning in and watching. And we will see you next episode. <laughs>